In this video, we'll be taking a look at the new InPlace Editors feature of Rad Scheduler, introduced in the Q3 2010 release. InPlace Editors allow users of your application to modify appointment information directly on an appointment. Let's take a closer look at how this works. So, as you can see, I've already put together a pretty basic application that contains a Rad Scheduler and a Rad Scheduler Navigator. And if we jump into the code behind for this, as you can see, I have a region here called Default Appointments, and this contains a method, initialize appointments, and all this is doing is just generating us some dummy appointment data, and it's adding some just basic default appointments to the RAD scheduler for testing. Here inside of the form load event, I'm actually setting the editor view mode of RAD scheduler to none, so this basically means that we'll not be using any in-place editing for now. So let's go ahead and run the application and take a look at it in action. So as you can see, here are my three appointments. And if I want to edit an appointment, I can just double click on it. And it's going to open the edit appointment dialog where I can just begin typing some new information. So I'll just type some new information in here and click OK. And as you can see, it's changed the title of this appointment. So let's go ahead and take a look at another way we can allow the users of this application to edit this appointment using an in-place editor. So I'm going to close out of the application now. And here inside of the form load event, I'm just going to simply change the editor view mode. So if we change this from none, as you can see, I have two more choices. I have the choice of an editor or an editor dialog. So let's try editor first and see what this does. So I'm going to go ahead and run the application again. And now that it's up to edit an appointment, I can just simply double click on it again. And as you can see, instead of opening the edit appointment dialog, it just now allows me to edit this appointment in line. So I can go ahead and type the title of this appointment and press enter. And it changes the title without me having to enter into the edit appointment dialog. However, if I still want to use that dialog, I can simply right click on an appointment and select edit appointment. And this will bring up the edit appointment dialog once again, and I can edit everything that has to do with an appointment. So let's go ahead and switch back to the code once more, and we'll try the third type of editing mode. So I'm going to switch to the editor dialog mode. Then we'll run the application once more. And again, I can simply double click on an appointment, and since I'm in editor dialog mode, it's now going to display a pop-up dialog to the right of the appointment where I can then simply type in the subject and change all associated information. So I'm just going to type in dentist appointment again and I'll click out and as you can see it's updated that information on the appointment and again if I want to have a more advanced experience editing this appointment I can just right click on it and select edit appointment and that will bring up the edit appointment dialog. So that's basically all it takes to get started using in-place editors and the RAD scheduler. Thanks for watching.